be able to get a little look into this, see who has she's, the right to fight. She's not paying this Tom Nook debt at all. All right, well, let's see who's going to be the um, the last of the villagers as Villager and Isabel are up on Battlefield. Here we go. No poke, pokey lamb, no stranger to, to Wi-Fi. He, he is a grinder through and through on Wi-Fi. Oh, yeah. both, of these, both of these fellas. Oh, truly? Okay, awesome. Yeah, I know I've seen Zircon, Zircon more at in-person tournaments than I've seen pokey lamb. I feel like for both of them, I see them at the respective monthlies of their regions. Like, uh, Zircon is typically at Forges, which is the premier monthly for North Jersey. And then I've seen Poke at quite a number of Xeno Sagas, which is the premier monthly for the city. Here we go, though. They're kind of just slugging each other. Zircon, though, taking the slight lead. Who do you feel like... I don't know, because they both have similar tools, obviously, but the dynamic of Lloyd and the way some of their move kit works changes a little bit. I feel like Isabel actually might not, you know, have too poorly of a time because she's, you know, she, she has, like, pretty good in-your-face options. So, the only thing that I can really think of that can really turn the tides of this particular matchup, because to be honest with you, I haven't played it that much from either side, even though I've played mm -hmm. both of these characters for a respectable amount of time. Mm -hmm. I feel like Villager's forward smash actually does quite a deal on Isabel's ability to return to the stage from below. So, if Pokemon's able to do a good job of keeping Zircon from recovering from high, um, that could be curtains for Zircon really quickly. Well, but, that guys... being said, I, I think Zircon has the better ground game, just because more of Isabel's kit is acclimated to fighting on the ground and controlling right. the base stage, and that goes a long way on Battlefield, but you also have the blast to be able to either act as defense or to circle camp. He's, he's also just been holding center stage like very, very well this time. I noticed he's been he's not really been retreating into the corner too, too much unless he's absolutely forced to. Pokey Lamb trying to claw this lead back though, just getting right in Zircon's face. Not well, Villager is always going to be able to box. Yeah, he's always going to be able to just sit there, do what he's he needs. Got boxing gloves. Gloves. Yeah, he has his boxing gloves. He's got he's got hands on deck. Right, though, it, it seems to be whoever's keeping the other above each other because neither of these guys are letting you win. And they, they're just doing their smash attacks. <laughs> I mean, it's 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 no secret that the, the Animal Crossing characters kind of struggle to kill if they don't have a significant read or total stage control. That's true. So the fact that these guys have uh, opted to monkey swinging shouldn't be too surprising. <laughs> monkey swinging. I mean, that's all I'm going to call the like, forward smash spin. And wow, that was a great ledge trap right there by Zircon. Setting up the, the Lloyd mine uh, right there in front, so uh, some of Poke Lamb's options were covered, and having the fishing rod to over ledge is covered as well. Like, that was really, really good. Ooh, all right, good catch from Zircon on this time. All right. So she's advantage. catching red snappers, yo. She's taking Gotta advantage of out. the fact that the tree isn't really doing anything but hurting Poke Lamb there. It's, it's keeping him kind of in a, in a very compromising position in the corner. And, and, and Zircon's taking full advantage of this right now. Still holding that center stage down pat. Pokey Lamb just can't seem to get inside. Yo, New York ain't the only place on lockdown during this. Yo, that's max, bro. <laughs> My dude looking quarantined AF right now. <laughs> but the, the Blasio put the kibosh on this man. You ain't leaving the ledge for 30 days. <laughs> You ain't delivering oranges to nobody in this town. You stay in your ass inside, bro. <laughs> Yo, Mr. Zircon said, close the gates. Oh, wow. The up smash and the nair clanked. That's unfortunate. I don't think that would have killed Pokemon, even though he's at 116. Up smash ain't, ain't the best uh, smash attack of Isabel's kid. Yeah, no, especially because, like, Zircon is using it as more of like almost an approach tool of sorts mm -hmm. like to anti-air and to also find his way forward but it's going to be the fishing rod from Zircon that manages to net him game one so up smash is good in that it does a little bit of pushback uh if your opponent is shielding so it spaces pretty well for a down smash right after that uh it, it just puts your opponent very very slightly out of grab range i don't know if it's out of villager's grab range because villager's grab i think has you know he's got the net so regardless Zircon taking that game in in, in good fashion you know don't know what time I'm sleeping tonight. Well, if either of these guys have anything to say <laughs> about it, it's going to be a little bit later. They're kind of slugging, though. They're kind of slugging each other quite a bit. Like, that didn't feel like a traditional zoner match. It you know, felt a little bit more aggressive, which was, I know. I like to see that. A 
find it cute that the two of these guys have like almost matching icons with Victini and Jirachi. Yeah, they're adorable. They definitely they they planned this. They might have planned this. Yo, collusion in my free to enter no prize bracket. I thought it's collision got canceled. Like... Unbelievable. Whoa! That collision got postponed. You know, he's still alive. <laughs> what collusion the hell is this? Level. Collusion 2020. Oh, hold up. Oh, oh, hold on. Whoa, cowboy. That's a that's a forbidden character on this stream. Character I have not that's seen. That's a bad idea. That's what that uh, is. You're not allowed to. <laughs> yeah, dead. Now, hold, hold on, cowboy. We might have something here. Uh, Pokemon opting into oh, going into his for? unknown pockets for Kirby. I didn't know my dude had uh, a Kerbo. My uh, man's most, way out of pocket. Most people don't go Kerbo. You never go before Kerbo. Game? He's doing it though. He's out I here. I mean, is we're, he though? We're, we're 20 seconds. Matchup kind of sucky game. though. I'm not gonna lie. The matchup kind of wonk. It's like. I guess Kirby has better close range boxing tools? I kind of would Yo. disagree. Because, like, you just nair out of the way. Wait, does she have a three frame nair? Yeah. Like, villager? Mm. It's pretty quick. I don't think it's. I think. Ah, it's quick. I don't think it's three frames. That might be so she doesn't have Billy nair. You know, the. God, that hat is it's really still, cute, though. It still works similarly, though. That is ugly. I, I want to just hit it. It is adorable. No. Get that thing it, off your head. No. It looks like he's wearing water balloons. I yeah. mean, get, have you seen him. Penis Kirby when, like, no, takes stop, the Jigglypuff hat? Penis Kirby, Penis Kirby, Penis don't Kirby, do Penis this. Kirby. <laughs> have you, do you know what I'm talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, my God. About. Load up Brawl and or Melee. I forget. And then uh, Pick Puff. And then, oh no! Yeah. Well, that's one less Kirby we have to worry about. Yeah, I don't know, cause Kirby, Kirby still struggles with with getting in. That's the thing. He doesn't really have a, a lot of approach tools. In fact, I think he has no approach tools. <laughs> I, I, uh, you know, Isabel can zone out pretty effectively. Yeah, Kirby can can rack up the, the initial damage pretty quickly, and and apparently. Kill him with that backer right there, cause Isabel is pretty light. But uh, man, I guess a frame six backer will do that to you. Zer Zircon's just going to be able to play keep away for most of this game, so I really don't, I don't know what Poke uh, Pokelam's rationale was here. He didn't seem to do too poor of a job with Villager. I figured he would have stayed. This tournament is best of three, and I believe this is loser, so whoever bites it here is going to... Yeah, this is loser. It's worth noting that from this point on, like, all the winners' matches are done. Like, it's only loser's bracket until we get ourselves into Grands. Yo, shout to House for running a 300-man tournament under... What, <coughs> five hours? For, uh, so far, yeah. so, asterisk. So far, <laughs> you put the thing on his head again. It's weird. Right, take it off. Take that thing off right now. It, it's it's like <laughs> yo, it looks like <laughs> yo, it looks like Goofy's hat. It's like when it you're like it's like Goofy's when hat. And Gosh, you're it's right. Like yellow. It's like walking through your living room with like a, a silly shirt on, and your parents see you who are already, you know, kind of skeptical of your life choices, and they're like, "Take that thing off right now. You are not going out in public with that thing on." <laughs> I, I, I no need thing. It sound, it sound, sounds like you're not projecting, I swear. Yeah. So Kirby in his quest to vanquish the darkness uh, is, uh, is is looking kind of all right right now. A little weird champ, I'm not going to lie. A little but, weird uh, champ. <laughs> weird champ. Chat, but it's Kirby, but it's working. <laughs> The stupid hat is the stupid. Little, I don't even know what he, it's a ponytail, whatever that is. I mean, it is. It is a. Uh, um, yeah, I guess it would be a ponytail. It's a wig. Uh, it's a wig. I mean, again, it to me it looks like Goofy's hat. It's working though. Pokey Lamb kind of just staying in there, hanging, hanging more so center stage than he was last time. I think he realizes how he's gonna get his damage on Zircon. That being said, he gets grabbed. It's a very weird uh, yellow mushroom. It's, it's a, a weird wig. wig. It is definitely like a mushroom. It. I don't like it. <laughs> Spot dodging the up smash. We're just seeing lots of buttons being pressed here, ladies and gentlemen. I want to see the average the, the average APM for this tournament. You I'm know, sure it's astronomical. Under normal under normal circumstances, I don't think we have meta scouter tools like that. I really am not trying to see meta scouter tools in a Wi-Fi tournament. <laughs> All right, Zircon just needs to clean this up though. No more jumps left on Pokey Land, but he gets the air dodge right at the end. He's got to be careful with this fishing rod bouncing off his shield. He's gotten caught with it a few times. And it, he's within, uh, I believe, the up throw fishing rod kill percent at this point. So he's got to really be careful. 
Yeah, Kirby's on the lighter end of things, so he should be dying now. He's gonna be north of 130 on contact. I think said Zircon holding his own, just just keeping Pokemon out. Thought we were gonna see an up up air there. You know, I have to believe that this pick into Kirby wasn't random. This had to have been Ooh, and it's like, justified. But yep. so Zircon takes it's it. Not for Lamb. Lamb. Good stuff. I am always happy to see Isabel.